Hello all. Uh, this morning, I'm going to test this uh, off-center fed dipole that I homebrewed a few months ago. And uh, I'm going to check this with uh, Nano VNA and uh, see uh, what result it gives. Okay, so um, I've connected the antenna to the uh, Nano VNA and uh, uh, let's set this up so we'll go to uh, st the start okay and then uh, yeah okay so let's start at uh, wait um yeah so it's a uh, 6.5 say 6.5 and then uh, stop at uh, let's see uh, 51 okay okay so there it is um uh, the lower part here is the swr as indicated here and here in the yellow one part is the uh, frequency here so um the chart here shows a few dips in these areas one two three four and five so uh, let's try to move the marker, this one, and check um, uh, what frequencies these dips are. Okay. So now it's on around 6.9. Oops. Okay. Let me see. Wait. Okay. So we are on around wait 6.9. And we have a dip there with an SWR of around 1.3. So uh, 7. Point, uh, so it's about mm, 6.9, about 7, 7 megahertz. We have around 1.8. And then let's move this. Okay, oops, okay. Second part there is uh, we have about uh, around uh, 14 point something there. It's uh, 14 megahertz. We have about 1.41, 1.4. Okay, and then goes all the way up. And then uh, we have another dip here. Uh, this one is at, okay, it's at 27.8. It's uh, one point, uh, it's here. It's about 1.71 yeah and uh, I think we have another dip here at the end this one is in the wait uh, okay there it's in the 47 49 it's around in the 49 megahertz of 2.28 so this antenna uh, has a few dips uh, 7 we have 14 we have around 28 here and we have 50 here now these readings of less than 2 here and here uh, can easily be tuned by the inboard uh, auto tuner of your radio if you have one because usually uh, inboard auto tuners can tune around uh, three or less so i would say these areas here could easily be tuned but let's go in uh, have a closer look at this um, points and uh, see what it shows so okay so um let's uh adjust the stop and that one we started at 6.5 let's say let's go to 7.3 uh, or something okay so let's see how it goes oh there you go okay so this is the this is the uh, uh, graph at 
uh, 7 megahertz. So this one here on the left side is 7 point, uh, 6.5. And on the rightmost is 7.3. So down here in the middle portion would be, let me see. Okay. So here. So um, the lowest SWR is around 6.9, which is 1.8. At uh, 7. Point, okay. At 7100, we, are, uh, we have an SWR of 1.7, which is not bad. Actually, this can still be tuned, but uh, I'm okay with that. Uh, okay, so at uh, 7.1, we have a 1.7 SWR. So let's try uh, uh, 20 meters. Okay, so let's change start to say 14 megahertz. And uh, let's end it at, uh, say, 14.5. Uh, hmm, 14. Okay. Okay. So there you go. So the graph is there. I think it dips at around uh, 14. There. And it starts to go up. So on the phone side, you should say around uh, this area here, uh, we have around uh, 1.5 SWR, which is again, not uh, bad for a uh, multiband dipole. So there it goes up to 2. It starts to go to 2 at, uh, at around... Uh, 14.3 50 there so at this uh, area here 14.1 uh, to around 14.2 we have a reasonable SWR of about uh, 1.6 which is again quite okay there we do not have a, a uh, uh, good result on 15 meters so this antenna cannot be used for 15 so uh, let's try so the first dip was uh, 7 megahertz and then we have 14 and then we'll go to 28 okay so let's change this again so let's say um that one was about 27 i remember it was around 27 point let's just say 27.5 and uh, stops at uh uh, let's say 29 okay let's see okay there you go okay so um the lowest dip here is around 27.6 which is outside the amateur band and starts to go up at uh, 28 to now um the dx uh, center of frequencies are on 28.4 something 28.5 and we have an SWR already of 2.6 or 2.7 now still I would say uh, this is very tunable on inboard SWR um, and inboard uh, auto tuners so uh, yeah so these are some of the sacrifices that you have to contend with when using um, multiband antenna so uh, 28.5, uh, you have a 2.6, which is still usable. And then uh, the next dip would be around uh, 50 already. So let's try to check 50. So let's see uh, what result we can get at uh, 50, uh, say 51 and see okay let's do this again let's just say um we are at the 49 mm. okay okay so it levels off at around three uh, at the 50 megahertz uh, we have a, a result of about three three something 
3.2 it's about 3 okay there's a this one is a little bit high now this is I think we are pushing this already I don't think this antenna is designed to <laughs> to do uh, 6 meters but um, at 3 and if you can tune it well you can try using the antenna on 6 also uh, there so it's uh, uh, 50 uh, megahertz and you get a 3 so there you go so let's try to go back to uh, the entire span of the coverage for this antenna let's try start from 6.5 and uh, we'll end at uh, 50 yeah 51 okay mm, that's already okay all right so there you go so we went back to the entire span of of where this antenna can be used so we can do seven and we have a 14 here and we have the uh, 28 here and we have a little bit high on six meters here so if you plan to use this antenna for um for field uh, without bringing an external tuner as long as your your radio has a built-in tuner that can tune uh, at least three then this antenna can easily be used for 714 in other words 40 meters 20 and uh, 10 if you want to push it <laughs> you can try six meters also so there you go that's the result of the uh, off-center fed dipole and uh, that i homebrew during the quarantine period <laughs> Thank you all. This is TU7JAY saying uh, enjoy ham radio. Stay safe. 73. Bye bye.